week. You don't need any special knowledge or talent. Girl Scout Council will train you for the job. Gee, Peggy, do you think she'll do it? Hello. 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 I'm Peggy Dillon, and this is Sue Prince. We've come to ask you to help us find a leader for a Sue's Girl Scout troop. Well, tell me about it. Maybe I can help you. Come on, let's sit down. Now, let's see if I've got this straight. I'm your Girl Scout leader. My local Girl Scout council trains me before I start. And the Girl Scout organization is ready with help and advice whenever I need it. I meet with about 20 girls, including Sue, once a week for about three hours. The troop works on things like sewing and nature study. And camping and games. And cooking. Well, what about dramatics? Sure, we've got everything. Oh, and we work in hospitals and child care centers and libraries too, don't we? Sure, that's fun too. Oh, there must be hundreds of thousands of girls who'd like to join. Oh, easily. Probably many. There are girls in your town who want to be Girl Scouts too but they're waiting for you to volunteer to be their leaders. Call your Girl Scout office. You'll find that Girl Scouting is the kind of fun and training you'd want your girl and the girl next door to have. Welcome to Willow Glen Emotion. My name is Kevin Swanson, and I'll be your host. A leader is defined not only by the qualities and skills they have, but how these qualities and skills are used to make a difference in the world. A leader is one who stands up for his or her beliefs and values and tries to change the world for the better. Leadership is knowing what you believe and putting it into action. As the world becomes more complex, and uncertain. As communities become more about the individual and less about the village, as our personal interactions migrate to email and online social networks, the future will depend on developing leaders who are willing to stand up for their beliefs and values and change the world for the better. The next two shows in Willow Glen in Motion will be focused on two organizations that do just that. In this show, we're discovering the Girl Scouts organization that is working to meet the changing needs and changing challenges of girls today and in the future. As we explore the world of Girl Scouting, we have the opportunity to meet with Leslie Torrance, who tell us a little bit about the Girl Scout organization. Leslie, welcome. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Kevin. Um, I am the leader support manager here in the Willow Glen Service Unit, which is Service Unit 638, part of the Girl Scouts of Northern California Council. And in Willow Glen and in the Cambrian area, we have 58 Girl Scout troops with nearly 800 girls registered as Girl Scouts. Really? The girls go all the way from kindergarten age through uh, seniors in high school at that level. And we're a very active service unit. We do a lot of community events and service projects and lots of fun activities, too. Well, let's let's go to a bigger perspective. I mean, how big is Girl Scouting? How many people are involved in Girl Scouting on a global basis? Girl Scouting um, and Girl Guiding, as it's called in some countries, uh, is a worldwide organization. And there are over 140 countries that have Girl Scouts and Girl Guides in them. So there are many, many girls uh, participating in a program similar to American Girl Scouting. Okay. And can you kind of help me create an organizational chart of Girl Scouting? I mean, you, uh, you've you got the troops, and from the troops, what's at the next level? Right. From troops, we have the service units, and service units can vary from being rather small with just maybe 20 troops to being very, very large. Um, one of our San Jose service units has, I think, uh, 125 or 130 troops in it. Um, after that, there's the council level, and our council is Girl Scouts of Northern California, which stretches roughly from Gilroy to the Oregon border. 
And um, after that, it's GSUSA, Girl Scouts of the United States of America. When girls start off, they're in kindergarten, first grade in the Girl Scouting organization? Girls can actually join Girl Scouting at any age, but the earliest would be kindergarten, and they would be called Daisy Girl Scouts while they're in kindergarten and first grade. And then after Daisy? After Daisy is Brownies for second and third grade girls, and then there's Juniors for fourth and fifth graders, uh, Cadets uh, is sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, Senior Girl Scouts are in ninth and tenth grade, and Ambassador Girl Scouts are in eleventh and twelfth grades. Now, once you become an Ambassador Girl Scout, is there anything beyond that in the Girl Scout organization for the girls? Adult Girl Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a registered adult Girl Scout and be a volunteer or an employee of Girl Scouts or just a troop helper. Really? So uh, Girl Scouts is kind of a, a lifetime uh, commitment if you want it to be. It is. We even have some adult Girl Scout groups that meet informally on college campuses that you were Girl Scouts uh, in their younger days, and once they got to college, they found other Girl Scouts and have formed informal groups that do uh, service projects, and sometimes they'll even adopt a troop and help younger girls out. What does it cost at the uh, council level, I guess, to uh, pay for a, a girl to go through Girl Scouts? Um, it costs the council over $300 a year per girl. Uh, they get some of that money from parents making donations and corporate donations um, and from product sales like selling Girl Scout cookies. Which is a big part of Girl Scouts. It is, although it's not required. Girl Scouts do not have to sell Girl Scout cookies. Um, but the girls actually learn quite a bit from selling cookies. They learn some independence. They learn some business skills. They're learning some math skills. Um, organizational skills, and they really build confidence and uh, become sort of more rounded individuals if they participate in that process. And is that the purpose of Girl Scouts? Absolutely not. The purpose of Girl Scouts is to um, teach girls to become people and girls of courage, confidence, and character who will make the world a better place. So we're looking to build leaders and just overall great young women through the Girl Scout organization. Great. Well, thank you very much for, uh, for the individual interview part. If you hang out for a little while, we'll be doing a, a panel discussion. Okay, great.